Hello and welcome back to the Nerd Melon Show. On October 23, we went to the Vancouver Comic Show, so today we will share some of our experiences and showcase some of our purchases. So, for those of you not around in the 1980s, I am Magnum P.I., the famous private investigator, and my mustache keeps falling off. Um, we're filming this on Halloween. We won't post it until after Halloween, but we're still celebrating today, so I'm in full costume. Uh, now, about the comic show. We took some video when we were there, so you can get a feel for what the show was about and what it had to offer. So we'll take a look at that first, uh, and then we will look at some of the cool purchases that we got when we were there. The show was fantastic as usual, and one of the reasons is that it's not just comics. There were tables upon tables of other collectibles like this guy. He's here at every show with his gigantic wall of Funko Pops. There were plenty of video games as well. I was actually considering buying this loose Earthbound cart for SNES. Earthbound, 500 bucks. I could have negotiated a better price, but ultimately I want the box and manual as well, and they were not available here. So today was not the day. I'm not much of a toy collector, but there were lots and lots of toys to browse through. Just back there were some pretty sweet WWE belts. I will buy toys for the characters I like, like TMNT or these Thanos figures, but we saw these too early in the show and I wanted to browse around more before making a decision. So what did we buy? We picked up some Pokemon cards and some comics, of course. Here I am shelling out some of our colorful Canadian money for some Pokemon cards. By the way, that brown bill I just handed over is a Canadian hundred. But the show was mostly about comics and there were definitely a lot of comics to look through, like this wall of keys one vendor had set up. There were hundreds of graded comics to sift through. There's an Omega Man number three, First Lobo, a great spec comic. This guy here is an old friend. He always has a wide variety of great books. Uh, here's a pre-code Satan cover. I told him about our recent pre-code Halloween special, so he brought out another book from the same era. This guy had bin after bin of keys. There's a first Spider-Gwen, Eternals, a nice condition early Fantastic Four, there's a first Black Panther, it didn't matter what you picked, every comic was a key. I was on the lookout for a giant size Chillers number one. There was a few available at the show. I think I ended up buying this one. Not the greatest condition, but the price was right. I'm always looking to upgrade my copy of Iron Man 55, that's first Thanos, but this CBCS graded 8.0 copy was not going to do it for me. This was the highest graded copy of I Am 55 at the show. Right, oh, so I hope that gave you a good idea about what the show was all about. So we'll take a look at some of our cool purchases now. We'll start with some Pokemon cards. Uh, this one here is a PSA 8 graded Grimer from Japan. This particular card is banned in North America. It was re-released in North America though uh, with one slight difference and see if you can see why this one was banned. The re-release in North America had Grimer's eyes looking away from the girl's skirt. Not up it. Uh, another graded card we had was this mint graded 9.0 Marnie's Pride. This is from the Trainer Series. And we got a number of cards from the Trainer Series just because there's pretty girls on there. This is an Olivia. This is about a $10 card. We got uh, Lily. This one's quite a bit more expensive because she's in a little tennis skirt there. It's about a $150 card in this condition. Paid 80 for that one. And then we got uh, Acerola's Intuition. This is another Japanese card. This one, um, it's about a $100 card in this condition. I paid 85 for this one, I think. We got some base set cards as well. So the 1999 base set of Pokemon cards are the highly sought after ones. They're the, the first editions. This is a first edition of Ponyta. Really, really good condition. Uh, you can see in the bottom left of the box art, there's that first edition there. 
And then probably the best card out of everything I got is this Shadowless Charizard. So it doesn't have that first edition in the bottom left of the box art, but it doesn't have that uh, drop shadow on the box art like all subsequent print runs did. So this is a, a second print run of the Charizard card. Uh, I only paid 150 for this one. Okay, let's take a look at a few of the comic books we purchased. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 298, first appearance of Eddie Brock, who of course later goes on to become Venom. Venom's got a bit of a difficult uh, first appearance situation going on. So Eddie Brock, Eddie Brock first appears in this one. Uh, Venom first appears in a cameo appearance in the next issue in the series, 299, and then of course his first full appearance in Amazing Spider-Man number 300. I had the 299 I, uh, and the 300, I didn't have a 298, so I bought that one for my collection for cheap. Another character with a difficult first appearance situation is Mystique from the X-Men comics. This here is Miss Marvel number 17. So Mystique's uh, human form, that's uh, Raven D Dark Home, I think. I can't remember. That uh, that character first appears in Miss Marvel number 16. Then Mystique first appears in number 17 in a cameo appearance near the end. And then her first full appearance in Miss Marvel number 18. I have a 16. Uh, I have a 17 now. I don't have an 18. That's something I'd look at getting in the future. Bit of a spec comic. This is Daredevil number 270. First appearance of Blackheart, who is the son of Mephisto of sorts. Um, now Blackheart is not a super popular character, but he might show up in the MCU at some point in the future. I also just really like this comic, so I, I bought that one partially on spec, but partially just because I really like it. A little bit more spec on this one as well. This is Giant Size Chillers, number one. That's the first appearance of Lilith, Dracula's daughter. Lots of attention on Dracula these days with the Blade movie coming out. Um, this is not the greatest copy. They the, the show had a lot of really good copies of this comic there, but I was starting to run out of money, so um, I just paid a little bit less for this one. Uh, I think he was asking 125 I, I bargained him down to 85 for this one, but... That one's uh, just a really cool cover from the 1970s. I really like that. Now, speaking of spec, this is perhaps the ugliest cover uh, out of everything that I got today. This is Captain N, the Game Master. Nintendo Comic Systems, number one. Now, according to my research, this is the first appearance of Samus Aran, the Metroid Bounty Hunter. First appearance of Samus Aran in comic books. Nintendo has their new Mario movie coming out soon. So it looks like there might be some interest uh, by Nintendo in having their own cinematic universe like Marvel. Now, if they do expand on that cinematic universe, just imagine a Samus Aran slash Metroid high budget feature film that would blow everybody's minds. That would be awesome. And if that does happen in the future, then this relatively unknown comic with a super ugly cover is going to skyrocket. You can still pick these up for relatively cheap. This is a really, really nice condition one as well. I paid uh, only $45 for this one, but if there's ever a Samus movie, this one's gonna skyrocket. So just some spec there. Speaking of the Nintendo Cinematic Universe, I will put a link in the description to a YouTube video that my son put together. This is pure fan fiction. It has Link, Star Fox, Mega Man, and Samus Aran herself. Check that out if you're interested. Okay, my son wants to go trick-or-treating, so we should wrap this up. Uh, if you're interested in the Vancouver Comic Show, I've got the link to their website in the description below. Great place to go to pick up. Good deals, there's no taxes, there's no shipping involved. You've got the comics and the, the collectibles right there in hand. It's a great place to go and, and meet other collectors as well. So I hope to see you at the next show. And I hope to see you on the next episode of the Nerd Melon Show. Bye now. Higgins!